Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News, some latest events in the province. And now we come into details. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Nguyen Dai Standing Vice Chairwoman of the Bronzo People Council, reported the achievements of the Standing Committee of the Bronzo People Council in 2022, as well as the duration and task in 2023. During the working session in the morning of December 7 of the sixth session of the Bronzo Council. Monitoring operations are one of the noteworthy activities of the Provincial People's Council Standing Committee in 2022. During the year, the Provincial People's Council Standing Committee convened six monitoring meetings and three explanation sessions on topics of major concern to voters. That is the province of people's cultural thematic supervision of the implementation of the province medium-term public investment plan for the 2021-2025 period, thematic monitoring and on-site clearance of public investment projects in the province from 2018 to 2021, supervising the resolution of voters' petitions prior and following the second meeting of the Provincial People's Council, as well as prior to and following the fourth session of the Provincial People's Council, as well as prior to and following the fourth session of the Provincial People's Council, organizing information sessions throughout the province on the state administration of construction orders and the separation of land parcels the establishment of urban and rural residential areas and individual residents monitor the execution of measures to increase the pace of universal health insurance coverage in the province, as well as a variety of other key items. Many issues of interest to voters have been actively proposed by the Provincial People's Committee and functional branches through the supervision and explanation sessions of the Standing Committee of the Provincial People's Council to overcome difficulties and inadequacies to enhance the management efficiency in all fields. In 2022, the Standing Committee of the Provincial People's Council also managed the organization of four voter gatherings, registering more than three voter petitions. Until now, the Provincial People's Committee and specialized departments and branches have responded to and addressed the majority of the voters' opinions and suggestions. In 2023, the Provincial People's Council Standing Committee will continue to focus on overseeing the resolution of voters' petitions, supervising the resolution of complaints and denunciations, and conducting events to clarify voters' concerns and recommendations. Also at the session in the morning of December 7 of 10 Provincial People's Council, for the 2021-2026 term, Mr. Yudu Trump, standing vice chairman of the Rosso People Committee, reported on the Earth, the Social Economy Development Plan in 2022 and Social Economic Plan in 2023. According to the report, the local economy continued to rise in 2022 with some extremely favorable results obtained for the first time. For the first time in many years, 100% of social economic indicators have assisted the Ronsu Party Committee and Ronsu People Council decision on 19 by 19 economic, cultural, social, and environmental objectives have been reached or exceeded. Budget collection was completed two months ahead of schedule. For the first time, total budget income in 2022 turbid. 11,000 billion Vietnam dong, 9 by 9 district town, city met and surpassed purchase income rotation ahead of schedule, with several municipalities meeting or exceeding 100% at blend in the first six months of the year. Trade service rise, particularly in tourism. Tourism income exceeded 1,000 billion Vietnam dong, with the number of tourists increasing to 100%, making it one of the top five largest tourist attractions in the country. Its bottom over hits a record high of 6 point. Its bottom over hits a record high of 6 point 4 billion USD. Then it is one of the 10 provinces and cities in the country with the greatest disbursement rate of public investment fund, attaining 96% of land. The Bronze People Committee has entrusted discussion of guidelines, methods, and policies in the last year to be a legislative environment conductive. 
to the process of digital transformation, develop of digital governance, digital economy, and smart city. Security and defense are maintained, social order and reserve, and social security measures are implemented on schedule. The Russell People Committee has also highlighted terror essential goals and solutions in order to continue effectively executing social economic development of safety in 2022. In particular, the Russell People Committee will actively advocate for the implementation of game changing solutions for social economic development in the period 2021 2026 in terms of institution and human resources development, agriculture, tourism, and social economic infrastructure, particularly transportation in Rochester. The People's Committee of Trang Ban Thao held a meeting with the Steering Committee for the 4th The West Rice Paper Festival in 2022. On December 6, the Thao People's Committee has basically completed the preparation for the festival. Mr. Haman Yao, Vice Chairman of the Thao People's Committee and Head of the Festival Steering Committee addressed the meeting and asked members of the Steering Committee as well as the subcommittees to try their best to complete the remaining tasks as planned. Vice Chairman of the Thao People's Committee suggested relevant agencies, departments and branches to continue to strengthen propaganda work in the media, implement plans to ensure security and order, fire and explosion prevention and traffic safety, expeditiously complete the conditions of facilities and yards in service of festival organizations, review the contents of the festival opening and closing programs, and the subcommittees urgently complete the assigned tasks for the success of the festival. The fourth culture and tourism festival featuring the craft of making Chang Bang the West Rice paper in 2022 will be opened at 6 p.m. on December 10 in Trang Ban Thao Stadium. Turn to all the news. The Russian People Council also reported to its sixth session on the monitoring result for the construction and execution of the province medium term public investment plan for the 2021-2025 period. Then in his our firm, the national average in building and disbursement of public investment resources by a wide margin. The monitoring results of the Bronson People Council reveal that the Bronson People Committee direction and administration in deployment and execution of the medium term pool investment plan for the 2021 2025 period has been enhanced. The Bronson People Committee has formed a working group to intensify the distribution of public investment capital in the province in 2021 and 2022. Regularly organized meetings to review, inspect, earth and remove difficulties of stock for units in order to speed up the experiment progress of the project. The yearly capital distribution is still in the right direction. In comparison to the national average, the yearly capital disbursement rate is fairly high. There are various hard options for dealing with capital construction areas. Thus, the province currently has no outstanding debt for basic construction. Aside from the accomplished accomplishment, our province duration and execution of public investment programs still has certain limits. Our province has failed to attract a significant amount of private and non budget investment. In comparison to all the provinces in the southern vital economic area, tenants' public investment capital remains inadequate. ODA implementation and payout remain low, while compensation and salaries for certain projects remain sluggish. The Bronson People Council Supervision Delegation suggested to the Bronson People Committee to skill six sets of items to improve the quality of the medium term public investment plans execution in the next year. The Bronson People Council, in particular, requested that the Bronson People Committee improve inspection, examination, and stringent execution of construction investment management contractor that break contracts must face sir vanities. Control the development, evaluation, and approval of the site paper strictly in order to reduce cases of relating volume that increase the overall investment. The Ning Provincial People's Council opened the sixth session of the 10 Provincial People's Council for the 2021 2020 system on December 7th. 
The session was co-chaired by Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee and Chairman of the Provincial People's Council. Ms. Nguyen Đại Thi, Standing Vice Chairwoman of the Provincial People's Council, and Mr. Nguyen Thanh Phong, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Council. The participants will consider important reports from the Provincial People's Council, the Provincial People's Committee, and the Judicial Authorities. The session will also examine and ratify 34 significant resolutions. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Nguyen Thanh Tâm, stated that, in 2022, under the active leadership and direction of the Provincial Party Committee, the Provincial People's Council, the Provincial People's Committee, and the efforts of all levels, branches, localities, the business community, the support and trust of the people, the Ning Province has utterly and comprehensively implemented the political tasks of the province, especially the specific aims and duties of social economic growth. Until now, the province's social economic development has produced quite positive and comprehensive results, with targets are significantly higher than that of the plan. Kỳ họp thứ sáu của Hội đồng nhân tỉnh có rất nhiều nội dung. The sixth session of the Bronze People Council has a lot of content. The working time is quite tight. So, I ask all delegates to uphold the sense of responsibility, promote democracy, focus your mind, actively participate in activity, actively research and contribute valid and decisive opinion for the common development of the province and the belief and expectations of voters and the people. Với tinh thần đó, tôi tuyên bố khai mạc kỳ họp thứ sáu của Hội đồng nhân tỉnh khóa 10. Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee also expressed hope that the voters and people of the province will pay attention to monitor and supervise the activities of the meeting, participate in contributing ideas for the success of the succession of the 10th Provincial People's Council. Ladies and gentlemen, to ensure good for shopping at the end of 2022 and the Lunar New Year in 2023, the Indian Department of Industry and Trade developed and submitted to the Rosso People Committee to issue a decision on market stabilization program for essential goods to promote commercial activities in 2022 and the Lunar New Year in the province. Many facilities in the province are currently celebrating output as a result of investment in reaching product quality and design. Simultaneously, actively participate in the end of year effort to stabilize pricing and promote consumption. The groups of goods participating in the program include food and essential food, rice, cereals, sugar, cooking oil, poultry meat, cattle meat, poultry earth, vegetables, fruit, and seafood. Condiments include salt. Fish soil, soy soil. There is also a group of goods related to COVID-19 prevention and control activities such as mass up or cry, hand sanitizer. For sense of food and food item participating in the price stabilization program, the selling price must be guaranteed to be lower than the market price of products of the same specification, time and quality at the time of price registration at least from 5 to 10% throughout the year and keep the selling price stable during the two months before, during and after Lunar New Year in 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTP News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.